How are you doing everyone? I hope you guys are okay. In this video, I'm just going to be speaking to you guys. No fancy b-roll of those nice shots you are used to. Today, you're just going to see my face. I'm just going to be answering a question that I was asked the other day. Okay, not by you guys, by an MO in theater, but I thought maybe some of you might be interested in. So this guy that I work with was like, how did you decide to become an orthopedic surgeon? Why did you decide to take orthopedic surgery? And I was like, uh, let's get started. <laughs> so now why did I decide to become an orthopedic surgeon? It's actually a difficult question, believe me or not, because there's no one single particular answer. Many doctors when asked why they decided to do this or that specialty normally have like some background story, some very touching story, you know. Uh, my cousin suffered from a certain disease which then I had to find a way to solve and so I decided to, you know, become a... But I don't have such a story. Mine was just a complex of various experiences and uh, a bit of my history. I've already talked about this in this channel before, so on this one, let me just get straight to the point. First, I kinda just liked surgery, you know. It's a question of likes versus dislikes. A lot of time in medicine, when you get in, in most countries, you'll be exposed to all the specialties at the basic level. Like in undergraduate, we literally like rotated through all the disciplines, pediatrics, obstetrics, internal medicine, general surgery, neurosurgery, and so on. And so you get a feel of what different specialties entail. And some of these things are subjective, you know, you just tend to like some specialty. Maybe because you met someone there who was like a very nice consultant. He taught you so well, you liked him personally, or you liked how he taught. There's a lot of subjective reasons, you know, but there's a bit of objectivity that is also involved. First, I'm normally like sort of a handy person. I preferred more like what I can touch and see and do than really what I more of know. You know, surgery involves a lot of handiwork. It's not like medicine has nothing hands on. And when I talk of medicine, let me just use that as a broad term to include specialties like pediatrics, internal medicine, family medicine and other less surgical disciplines like dermatology and so on. Those ones to me felt a bit less active, if that is a word I can use. And I always just wanted, you know, I liked creating things, doing things with my hands ever since I can remember. And so I just lateralized towards surgery from earlier on, probably even before I got into med school. And guys who went with me to med school will probably remember how much I like tinkering around with gadgets, computers, and so on. I'm really more like a hands-on person. I prefer doing things rather than knowing things. Not to mean that there's nothing to do in medicine, but yeah, there's much more that surgery offers that, you know, medicine does not. Something else is just dating back to my earlier days. I think probably I was influenced to want to be a surgeon. Somehow I remember in primary school at some point I wanted to be a neurosurgeon like all top students normally do. But after getting more exposure into various fields in surgery, I think I kind of settled into orthopedic surgery. But there's a story, there's a story. Just hang on towards the end of this video. I'll tell you the funny way that I actually dropped neurosurgery in favor of orthopedic surgery. Okay, so during those days, I wanted to be a psychopathologist. I don't know where I read that from, neurosurgeon and so on. So yeah, it was also a childhood dream. And that's actually a valid reason, I believe, to... Be what you want to be. It might be your childhood dream come true. Go for it. Okay, moving on with the most objective reasons why I chose orthopedic surgery or the likes versus likes issues. Um, <laughs> the other thing is uh, my experience in med school. Back then during my undergraduate studies, I kind of felt like um, surgical concepts were easier for me to grasp than medical concepts, truth be told. I just felt like, you know, 
medicine had a lot of things which you cannot see, you cannot, you know, it's difficult to internalize, grasp a concept that you just imagine, you know, CYP for 50 enzymes, you know, uh, management of electrolytes in diabetic ketoacidosis, you know, and, and, and so many other things which the only things you can see is probably the readings of temperature or UECs, but there's a lot of complexities behind the scenes which you don't get to see. It doesn't mean that surgery is just an art, like, you know, it's just like a painting, you get to see everything. There's also all those issues, all that medical knowledge behind the scenes, but I felt like it offered a more practical way of grasping concepts. You see, if you read something, it's a question of chance and your abilities as to how much you'll remember, but if you actually do something, I feel like even if you don't have that much mental faculty, you will probably remember it because of the experience. You sort of like interacted with it in a more intimate way. And so, yeah, that was the feeling I got when rotating through surgical disciplines in undergraduate compared to the medicine counterparts. I'm not really a bookworm, by the way. I know it might be difficult to believe, but... It's true. Okay, next, let's move on to the more objective reasons why I decided to become an orthopedic surgeon. And the first of these is actually mentorship. My experience as a medical officer, okay, let's just consider all the duration from internship all the way to the time that I served as a medical officer. I worked under some surgeons for some time who I believe also influenced my decision to become a surgeon. Sometimes, you know, the people you surround yourself with, the kind of experiences you have with them may influence your parts where you go in life. And so mentorship actually played a key role in my decision making and case in point is a surgeon that um, unfortunately left us but I worked with for a period of time and I actually liked his work and it was actually one of the great reasons that kind of pushed me towards the surgical side of things. Then my last reason I'd place it somewhere between the subjective and the objective reasons because this is personal, how I feel, fulfillment. I kind of felt like I would feel more fulfilled <laughs> <laughs> if that is something <laughs> in surgery as a discipline uh, compared to medicine for two main reasons. One, patient outcomes. And really, this happens in all fields in medicine. People get well, you feel nice, you actually feel like you've done something to help someone. And yeah, surgery is one of those things that you can actually see the results of your labor. And I'd be lying if I talk about fulfillment, if I don't talk about the, you know, monetary value. Okay, at this point, let me show a disclaimer first before jumping into this issue. It doesn't mean that a surgeon will always earn more money than, you know, a pediatrician or someone in medicine. And it also doesn't mean that there's no much money in medicine, but really there's some money that you could make if you become a surgeon. It's just true, kind of. What more should I say? <laughs> That's also a motivating factor. If you ask someone, why did you decide to become an engineer, for example, they will give you all the other reasons. They may not mention the money, but everyone is looking for some quality life and will take up any opportunity, be it entrepreneurship and so on, just to improve our quality of life. And quality of life is dictated to a great extent, in my opinion, to the amount of money in your pocket. Yeah, true. <laughs> Okay, now, I was going to tell you guys how I actually landed in orthopedic surgery specifically. And this little tiny funny story. <laughs> I actually applied for two surgical specialties, neurosurgery and orthopedic surgery. Okay, just some background for those of you who are not in medicine or those of you who are not Kenyan. There are many surgical specialties, plastic surgery, cardiothoracic surgery, urology, orthopedic surgery, neurosurgery, and so on. At the time, I was ready to go into specialization, and that is postgraduate studies over here in Kenya. Orthopedic surgery and general surgery were the main surgical fields that were being offered by our major universities. All those other surgical disciplines I just mentioned were kind of like just picking up. All that combined with my experience really was pushing me towards neurosurgery and orthopedic surgery. Oh, by the way, neurosurgery was actually just there. It was around. It has been around. <laughs> it was quite popular. I'm somewhere in the back there I'd actually applied for obstetrics and gynecology, but ah, that is a story for another day. I don't think I was that serious. But when I was actually ready to plunge in with both feet, 
I applied for orthopedic surgery and neurosurgery, both in the University of Nairobi where both the courses were offered and in Moi University where only orthopedic surgery was offered. So what happens is you go for an interview, you do a written exam, which is difficult. You expected it. <laughs> there is no simple exam in med school. So how do you expect a postgraduate exam to be simple? And then you go in for an oral examination. So the, the little funny story goes like this. <laughs> I went for my orthopedic surgery interview in the University of Nairobi. It went well. Then when the time for the neurosurgery interview came, <laughs> apparently the interview was starting quite early, probably around 7.30 in the morning. And I thought everything in Kenya starts at around 9. So I made my way and I appeared at Kenyatta National Hospital at around 9 o'clock only to get guys getting out of the first session of the interview. <laughs> and that is how my quest my journey, my years long journey to being a neurosurgeon was uh, summarily terminated. <laughs> and so I just uh, say that maybe God wants me to be an orthopedic surgeon. So let it be, so be it. And here I am, <laughs> an orthopedic surgeon as fat or God would have liked. Okay, guys, now if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about in the field of medicine, surgery specifically, orthopedic surgery even more specifically, there's the comment section down below. Let's go meet over there. And on your way there, if you're not yet subscribed, you're going to miss the many new videos coming up. So hit that big old red subscribe button and there's a bell, a notification bell right next to it. Turn it blue. See you in the next one and as always... No pressure.